All right, so now that we have uh, this, uh, these two examples, let's continue further and now look at uh, the cross product orthogon or orthogonality, or let's probably pronounce that again, orthogonality proof or perpendicular proof. Uh, so we constructed the cross product A cross B so that it would be perpendicular to both A and B. And this is one of the most important properties of a cross product. So let's emphasize this and verify it in the following theorem and give a formal proof. So theorem one, the vector A cross B is ortho orthogonal to both A and B. And proof, in order to show that A cross B is orthogonal to A, we compute their cross or their dot products as follows. And again, if we recall from our earlier video, if the dot product is equal to zero, then that means the two vectors are orthogonal or perpendicular. So what we'll do here is uh, we're going to do uh, A cross B dot A. And then uh, we'll compute their dot product as follows. We'll have this here. So if it equals to zero, it is orthogonal. So this this uh, cross product dot A. Like that. Now this equals to, remember this one uh, in the IJK format, but I'm going to, instead of writing it like that, I'm going to write it like this and put that in, in, put it in determined form like this. Remember how it was, this is A2, A3. And this is going to be A, I mean, B2, B3. Like that. And so this is the same thing as writing I and another one, J. I'm just put these in these components like this. And this one's going to be A1, A3. B1, B3. We'll put it like that. And also forget to put in minus. Remember, the middle one has a minus. So all we're doing is putting this exact same setup here. Uh, this right here, but instead of writing these uh, i j k, was put the uh, in the um, in these triangle bracket format for vectors. So a two a a three b two b three is minus a one a three b one b three. Next one's a one a two, and so on. And this is going to be a one a two, and then b one b two. So we have this, and put the square bracket uh, the triangle uh, bracket. And I'm going to shift this over, and now we're going to be dot dotting A. So dot A1, A2, A3. So that is the um, the A vector. And remember what happens with dot product? All it is is you uh, is you multiply this A1 with this, and then you add all the terms. Remember dot product is multiply each each uh, coordinate, and then uh, add add them all up to get a number. So this is going to be well, this one here is a, is a determinant, and this one is a2 times a3, b3, minus a3 uh, times b2. This is going to be a2, a2, b3, and then, uh, yeah, a3, a2, b3, minus a3, b2, then multiply this by a1, which is this. Next one is this, and this, and this, and this, and so on and add them all up. All right, let's continue. This is gonna be now minus A1, A3, I mean A1, B3, minus A3, B1, and then multiply by A2, like that. And the next one is, and I'm just gonna get some more space here by shifting this over, and then plus A1, B2, Minus a two b one. And this is gonna be our a three like that. All right. So now we have this. These are all over there. And now let's multiply all these inside. So factor this all out. So a one times inside is gonna be a one a two b three minus a one a three b two. The next one will multiply uh, a two inside. That's gonna be a one a two b three minus a two a three B1. The next one, last one is going to be plus A1, A3, and then B2. Then minus A2, A3, B1. And now let's do some cancellation. So this one's A1, A2, uh, A1, A2, B3. This one's A1, A2, B3, and it's a minus. This cancels. And now let's take a look at this, this one right here. A1, A3, B2. A1, A3, B2, and that's negative. This cancels. This cancels. Or better yet, make it a different cancellation line. Well, I'll do line like this, line like this. 
And then last one, a2, a3, b1 minus, and this one's a2, uh, a3, b1. And yeah, there's a mistake I made actually. And that mistake is that this negative here becomes positive like that. This is minus here, this one's minus, it's positive. So this is a2, a3, b1, this is minus a2, a3, b1. So yes, this one is uh, cross it out, and we can cross it out like this, put double x, just so it matches up. All right, so that equals zero. So hence, these are orthogonal because the dot product is equal to zero as per my earlier video. So I'll do a check mark like that. That's proof for that. All right, so now that we have shown that uh, this cross product is orthogonal to A, uh, you can do the exact same thing and then show that it's also orthogonal to B. So a similar computation shows that A cross B dot B is equal to zero. I don't, I'm not going to go over that. It's pretty much the exact same thing, but you just replace it instead of uh, dot product with A, dot product with B. And you can do the exact same thing, multiply by b, and everything just cancels out uh, exactly as uh, usual. All right, let's go further. So therefore, a cross b is orthogonal to both a and b. So here's a formal proof of that, even though we constructed it uh, by defining that it's um, the, the dot product is equal to zero. But anyways, that was just a verification of it. So now let's take a look at the right-hand rule. So if a and b are represented by directed line segments with the same initial point, as in the figure below, so here is A and B from the same point, directed line segments like that, A and B, uh, as in the figure below, then the above theorem says that the cross product A cross B points in a direction perpendicular to the plane through A and B. So this is a plane like this, the cross product is gonna be going up like this, and this is uh, a perpendicular to it, and I think the calculus book this, this N, meaning normal to it or, or whatnot, the direction is going up. <laughs> but anyways, that's A cross B is orthogonal to both of these, like that. Now this brings up brings us to the right-hand rule. So it turns out that the, the direction of A cross B is given by the right-hand rule. So if the fingers of your right hand curl in the direction of a rotation through an angle less than 180 degrees uh, from A to B. So if you if you have the angle, A, I mean the line A, the, the vector A, then, then angle from, from here, same thing as curling your right hand in the direction of this right here. So this one is, is counterclockwise, this is counterclockwise. So if this angle is counterclockwise, this is going to be your fingers like this, and then your thumb points in the direction of A cross B. Yeah, so your fingers, if they're rotating in the direction from A to B, the angle, then your thumb points in the direction of A cross B. So yes, and then if you were to do B cross A, it would go from here to here, and your thumb would go downwards, and you'll have a negative cross product, which is uh, interesting, or a negative uh, relative to this plane. In other words, it's going to go downwards. Anyways, that is an interesting right-hand rule, and we'll be needing that uh, soon.